and the Wasp Quantumania is finally released its trailer and um, let's just see what happens. So let's go ahead and dive on in. So this is the reason why. So why wasn't she there with them working on it? Okay, maybe I'm being. Wow. So we're finally gonna explore the quantum realm. Cool. Kane the Conqueror. Kang? Kang. Go. <laughs> Well, so that, um, let's go and talk about it. Okay, so Ant Man is a character that I actually really, really enjoy in the MCU. As a matter of fact, I really love the first movie a lot. I can pop that movie on quite a bit. Not every day, but I can pop it on quite a bit. And it's really, really a fun time. The second movie, I'm kind of like 50-50 on. There are a lot of elements I do like, and a lot of elements I think do not work that well in that movie. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with this movie. I definitely do like the visuals of this overall film. It looks like they're finally going to explore the Quantum Realm, which I'm interested to see what they're going to do with that, but at the same time, something that I haven't liked with Marvel recently is that they introduce interesting ideas, and this is very apparent with stuff like Love and Thunder, where the ideas are cool, but then they don't fully explore those ideas. So my fear is that they're going to go into the Quantum Realm and not explore this at all, and that will be a big problem. Or maybe they went into another universe. I, I don't know, but it looks like they're they're doing a quantum realm based on the title, right? Uh, Kang the Conqueror looks cool. Uh, can't wait to see it. It's the same actor that they have uh, from Creed Three, who's gonna be the villain in that movie, right? Uh, which is funny that they're having Kang versus Killmonger, but that's off topic. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I can't really determine whether it's going to be good or bad just from this trailer. Maybe we can get another trailer and kind of get a better idea of what's going to be going on. But uh, yeah, overall, uh, pretty solid. Um, interested to see where they're going to take Scott Lang in this uh, overall film. And uh, uh, yeah, I heard that also Modoc is going to be in this movie. So let's see what's going to happen with that. So, what are your guys' overall thoughts on this trailer? Did you guys like it? Did you guys not like it? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe today to join the Isolation.